angel says today your person trying to check your phone to know if you don't want to die of heartbreak they think it's best not to check your phone they did over the weekend and they haven't recovered from it They went through their partner's phone and they saw a text you sent to your ex, a person you had a baby with, where you told him he denied you the fairy tale like you'd hoped for. That they would have been so happy together, but he decided to choose someone else over you and that their son is a reminder of a great love that could have been never was. You said you would never stop loving him and hoped in another lifetime God will give them another chance and he would choose you. You sounded so heartbroken. You had been married to them for 2 years and we have a son together. So, it means you are not happy with them and is only with them because the love of your life rejected you. They are heartbroken. Don't know how to confront you about this. This is so painful. Your person may be tracking your phone out of jealousy. However, they can also monitor you to rekindle things with you. For instance, If you previously shared your location with them while dating, they may use it to track your whereabouts so they can show up to surprise you and initiate a conversation. Your person can monitor your phone for the same reasons. Furthermore, they could do it in the hopes of collecting evidence or information that could come in handy in divorce proceedings. If you have kids with them, they could spy on you to get information that would be favorable to them in a child custody case. Somebody close to you can go through your phone to see what you are getting up to and who you are talking to if they have physical access to it. That's why it's important to limit access to your phone. The reason your person checks your phone is distrust. They doesn't believe or trust you in situations that can range from very casual things such as a cocktail at friend's house for girls night or even having male co-workers or a situation where there could be some potential for risk and what they mean by that is situations such as a party or night club where there are guys who may approach you maybe you have done something that broke or severely damaged the trust they once had for you did you become flirty with another person to the point where it was inappropriate for a woman in a relationship Most people will say if you wouldn't behave that way with your partner around you shouldn't behave that way when they are not Thanks for watching please subscribe